modern warfare is no longer just about who has the biggest tanks or the most advanced fighter jets. It's about who controls the skies. The war in Ukraine has made one thing clear. Drones, missiles, and long-range strikes have changed the rules of engagement. Air defense is no longer just a support system. It's a necessity for survival. For Russia, keeping up with these evolving threats means one thing, adapting its air defense systems. Now, Moscow is taking its Pantsir air defense system to the next level by equipping it with laser technology, a move that could reshape how Russia defends its airspace. But what makes this upgrade so significant? How does a laser-equipped Pantsir compare to Western air defense systems? In this video, we break down Russia's latest advancements in air defense and what they mean for the future of warfare. Stay tuned. For years, the Pantsir air defense system has been a crucial part of Russia's defense strategy. Designed to intercept low-flying threats, it's a hybrid system that combines high-speed missiles and rapid-fire cannons to neutralize enemy threats. It's been deployed across Russia, from frontline positions in Ukraine to government rooftops in Moscow. There, Pantsir units protect the Kremlin and other key sites from aerial threats. On the battlefield, they shield Russian forces from Ukrainian drone and missile attacks. But war doesn't stand still, and neither do its weapons. Ukrainian drone strikes are becoming more advanced, targeting military bases, supply lines, and critical infrastructure deep inside Russia. To keep pace, Russia has started modernizing the Pantsir, rolling out a new wave of upgrades that could shift the balance once again. At IDEX 2025 in Abu Dhabi, Denis Manturov, Russia's first deputy prime minister, made a bold announcement. The Pantsir would soon be equipped with a laser weapon system. This marks a major shift in air defense technology. Lasers have long been seen as the next big leap in military defense, and now Russia is bringing them to the battlefield. But why move to lasers? The answer is cost, speed, and efficiency. Unlike missiles, lasers don't run out of ammunition. As long as the system has power, it can keep firing indefinitely. That means instant response to incoming threats, no costly missile reloads, and no wasted munitions on cheap drone targets. With this upgrade, the Pantsir will no longer need missiles for every engagement. It will be able to zap incoming threats out of the sky using pure energy making it far more cost-effective and sustainable in long-term conflicts. But lasers aren't the only upgrade. As drone warfare intensifies, Russia faces a new challenge. Using full-sized, high-cost missiles to shoot down cheap, mass-produced drones is financially unsustainable. The cost imbalance is staggering. To solve this, the new Pantsir SMD-E variant is being equipped with mini-missiles, specifically designed for countering drones more efficiently. These smaller, cheaper missiles allow the Pantsir to engage multiple drone targets without wasting expensive munitions. With this upgrade, one Pantsir SMD-E combat module can now replace an entire battery of older air defense systems, making it a powerful and efficient drone killer. Technology is constantly evolving, and so are the weapons designed to evade detection. Stealth drones and low-observable missiles are getting harder to track, meaning that traditional radar systems are no longer enough. To stay ahead, Russia has given the Pantsir a radar overhaul. The new SOTS S-band radar, installed in the Pantsir S-1M variant, significantly improves detection range and accuracy. Meanwhile, the Pantsir SM version now has a detection range of up to 75 kilometers, allowing it to spot and engage threats from much farther away. These improvements mean that even low-flying, stealthy threats, like Western cruise missiles, are now easier for the Pantsir to detect and destroy. 
While radar and weapon upgrades are essential, mobility is just as important. A stationary air defense system is a vulnerable one, and Russia has learned that air defense needs to be mobile, fast, and adaptable. That's why the new Panzer SMSV variant is being mounted on a track chassis, giving it off-road mobility and allowing it to move quickly across rough terrain. This makes it much harder to target and easier to redeploy in high-intensity battle zones. With these upgrades, the Panzer isn't just a stationary shield anymore, it's a mobile air defense platform that can protect forces wherever they go. While Russia advances its Pantsir system with laser technology, Ukraine is receiving cutting-edge Western air defense systems to counter Russian missile and drone attacks. The battle for air dominance is no longer just about firepower, it's about efficiency adaptability, and technological superiority. Ukraine's NASAMS, supplied by the US and Norway, is a highly effective medium-range interceptor, using AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles to target cruise missiles, aircraft, and drones. While extremely precise, its reliance on expensive missiles makes it less suited for countering mass drone swarms. Germany's IRIS-T SLM, one of Ukraine's most advanced air defense systems, excels at intercepting fast-moving threats, including crews and ballistic missiles. Unlike Pantsir, which has struggled against certain high-speed targets, Iris-T is specifically designed to engage maneuverable aerial threats with pinpoint accuracy. Russia's Pantsir SM is evolving to counter drone warfare, an area where NASAMS and Iris-T are less optimized. With lasers and mini-missiles, Pantsir is designed for sustained engagements against low-cost, high-volume threats like UAV swarms, a critical issue in the Ukraine war. While Western systems have the advantage in cruise and ballistic missile interception, Russia's Pantsir has the upper hand in countering drones cost-effectively. As both sides continue refining their air defense strategies, the question remains, will laser-based technology give the Pantsir a decisive edge, or will Ukraine's networked NATO air defense systems prove superior? That's all for today. Thank you for watching.